Hi guys, this is Johnny Hunkins, and I'm reporting from the Good Guys 15th Southwest Nationals here in Scottsdale, Arizona, where we are at the Good Guys Autocross. I just want to give you some of the sights and sounds of the autocross here so you can see what happens at the Good Guys Autocross. It's pretty cool. Anybody that's in the car show can come out to the autocross and run it for free. And a lot of the guys that are here with their muscle cars choose to do exactly that. One of the cooler cars out here is Paul Alderman 70 Camaro, which just came out of Detroit Speed and Engineering Shop. And it's got all the Detroit Speed stuff in it, plus a Mass Motorsports LS motor. This is the control center for the autocross where they make all the recordings for the runs and document everything on the computer and do all the announcing. And there's Trent Summers who is the head of the autocross here, good guys. This is John Dwyer, 69 Mustang, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I believe it's got a lot of ride tech suspension stuff in it, but I want you to take a look at this beautiful looking Roush 428 cubic inch small block and the craftsmanship that's inside this thing. Uh, it's just simply beautiful. Uh, it's a local car, and it's been running the autocross course very well this last couple of days. This is Rodney Prouty's 68 Camaro. We've seen it out a lot on the autocross circuit, and this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, folks, we got something really interesting here. Uh, there's a big crowd around it, but it's a 66 Chevy 2 Nova built by Glenn Bowles. He's a builder out of Chandler, Arizona, and uh, it's a pro-charged big block car, and you'll notice uh, it's got quite a bit of uh, plumbing underneath, and I'm here with Glenn. Tell us how much uh, horsepower this thing makes. Uh, the car made 22.52 on the dyno, and uh, Steve Morris built the engine for it. It's about 33 pounds of boost. Wow. So uh, why don't you kind of uh, narrate what's going on under here for us? Fuel injected, right? Yeah, uh, Holly's Dominator EFI. Um, it's conventional headed, nothing crazy. It's a dart block, dart heads, uh, Edelbrock intake. Obviously, Wilson intake manifold, uh, chiseled intercooler. It's got a Hughes uh, XP4 transmission. Um, they're local, so it's nice to work with those guys. Yes. 
Now you got a lot of stuff going on back here. Can you kind of give us a, a rundown? Uh, air to water intercooled, seven gallon ice tank in the trunk. So we burn about three pounds of ice per pass. Um, per pass. Now how fast have you gone with this? Uh, just playing around, trying to learn how to drive the car. We ran 180 mile an hour uh, last weekend. I got my license about two weeks ago. Um, and what was the ET again? Uh, it was only a 9.0, but we ran out only a 9.0 at, at 180. <laughs> 180. Uh, I got a, a pedal stop on it so I can learn how to drive the car, and uh, it's sitting at 70 percent. So we just left the line soft and uh, drove it out the back. <laughs> well, great, Glenn. This is a great car. Hopefully, we'll hook up with you later and get a feature on this thing. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. We're getting ready to take a ride in Brett Vocal's 33 Ford with the Roush motor. Hang on, folks. It's going to be a wild ride. Brent. All right, Brent. Take us for a ride here, brother. All right. Let's do it. Might get bumpy in here, folks. Well, this is not your ordinary 33 Ford, folks. What a crazy ride. 